Okay guys, we're on a 2011 Toyota Tacoma and we're going to use this X-Tool D8 to erase all keys except for the one we're using and program three additional keys for this uh, truck. So I've got three cut keys here. Those are the ones we're going to uh, program. I've already got the original key in the ignition truck is turned on um, we're going to go to special functions key programming hit agree to the disclaimer click Toyota we're going to click by vehicle now you can click by type if you know the type um, you can go through here if you hit immobilizer you've got to know the type that you're dealing with now I happen to know that this is a G chip key which would be this one right here um, you can also go by vehicle we're gonna hit Americas Tacoma and then whenever you select the year make and model which this is a 2011 to 2015 uh, I don't believe you could get a smart key or smart remote for this uh, year uh, so the only option you have is without smart now you can program either a, the the key which is the immobilizer or a remote we're going to do the key we're going to hit immobilizer we're going to hit erase keys now you can so the options you've got is add a key erase keys replace immobilizer ECU replace engine ECU uh, or reset immobilizer all keys lost North America so if you didn't have any key at all for this vehicle then you can go ahead and add a key using this option but what we're going to do right now is we're going to erase the keys now this says one submaster key is needed to erase or add other keys um, how to identify a submaster key or valet key insert key into the ignition if security light did not flash it is a submaster key if uh, it flashes for one second and it turns off it is a it is a valet key um, so I'll go ahead and do that key is out I'm gonna put the key in I'm gonna turn it on the light instantly went out did not flash so that is a submaster key and the light that I'm talking about is the immobilizer light right there you see it flashing if I put the key in and turn it on it stays out so that's how you identify basically the master key they call it a sub master I call it a master key uh, okay we're gonna hit yes this method can erase all stored keys in memory except the submaster key that is in the ignition. Each procedure must be completed within specified time, otherwise erasing will fail. Press yes to continue or press no to return. We're going to hit yes. Perform the following operation within 120 seconds, press OK. Remove the key from the ignition, insert a program submaster key, then switch ignition on. Keys out, keys back in. The ignition is on. I'm going to hit OK. Remove the submaster key from the ignition within 10 seconds. Press OK. Keys out. Successfully erased. OK. So now we're going to add a key. I'm going to hit Add Key. One sub submaster key is needed to erase or add other keys, which I've, I've got the key. We're going to hit Yes. Insert a program submaster key in the ignition. To the own position, press yes. Insert the key you wish to program. Do not switch the ignition on. Okay. Wait for the security light to turn off. Program is complete. Okay, so the light went out. in the new key 
starts the vehicle. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to add another key. We're going to hit Yes. Insert a programmed master key, which I'll do the one we just programmed. Switch the ignition on. Press Yes to continue. No to return. We're going to hit Yes. Insert the key you wish to program. Do not switch ignition on. That key is out. Put the new key in. Insert the key you wish to program. Do not switch the ignition on. Yes. Wait for the security light to turn off. So right now what, what we got is we have the security light flashing. It usually takes about two minutes and the light should go out. This is a G-chipped Toyota. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. But there's a G right here on this key. If it's a vehicle that requires a G-chip key, you have to have a G-chip key. Otherwise, it'll never you'll never get it to program. Okay, so we're going to add another key. Okay, we've got a submaster key here. Insert program submaster key into the ignition switch to on position, then press yes to continue. Insert the key you wish to program. Got the key. I am not going to turn the ignition switch on. I'm going to hit yes. Wait for the security light to go off. Program is complete. Usually it takes about 75 seconds to 90 seconds. And there you have it. So we've got all keys programmed. Now, I'm going to show you the other uh, I don't know, process that this scan tool has to program a key. So if you noticed on, on this in this particular process it just said wait for the light to go out well if you back out of this and if you go into the actual car through we'll just do auto scan and you go into the module okay so we're going to hit USA this has the hydro type uh, stability control we're going to hit system selection and we're going to hit immobilizer And we're going to go into special functions. Transponder code registration. Welcome to the transponder code registration wizard. This function is used to register immobilizer keys. We're going to hit OK. Perform the following operation. So you notice this is slightly different already. Okay, it says remove the key from the key cylinder, insert the key back into the key cylinder within 120 seconds, press OK. So I've removed it, reinserted it. Vehicle, you do have to switch it on. This should say uh, back into the key cylinder and switch to on. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. Remove the master key from the key cylinder within 20 seconds, then press OK. Okay, keys removed. Hit OK, insert. A key you want to program into the key cylinder within 10 seconds. Do not turn the ignition on and hit OK. And what you're going to get is a... You, so, you notice it says it failed. It's because the key's already programmed. Um, if it wasn't programmed, the, the screen right before this one 
had a countdown of 75 seconds. So what you're going to see is a 75 second countdown and then it'll say program successful. Do you want to program another key? Yes or no. And if you do, you hit yes. If you don't, you hit no. And you kind of go through it that way. This method's the same method that my Autel has. So just know that this uses either method. Either method works. Um, what I like about this method is it's actually got the countdown. Uh, the other method, uh, in fact, here you actually see insert a red master key. If the ignition is on, then press OK and off again. Uh, do you want to try again? Yes or no? Of course, we're going to hit no because all, all the keys I've already programmed under the other uh, method. Uh, the method where you just wait for the light to go out, you're waiting and you're waiting. There is no indication that anything is even happening. And you start wondering if it's going to work. And, and then finally the light stays out. And then you realize, okay, I, I guess it was doing something. So, but anyway, either either way works. This scan tool does successfully program keys for a Toyota Tacoma. And that's all I've got. You guys take care.